Getting text to wrap in a circle is one of the most asked for questions I see on forums. To do it badly is really quick, and to do it well is actually pretty quick too. This time on Solvin. Hey and welcome to Solvin. I'm covering three tips here. Text in a circle, text in a circle that rotates around the centre, text on any shape, and then text on a sphere. Oh wait, that's four tips. I better just get started. Here's a comp, and I'll just type in something. Very British apparently, as an American friend recently told me. And now while this layer is selected, I'll jump into the ellipse tool and draw a circular mask. If I hold shift while drawing, it locks into a perfect circle. If I also hold control, it centers on the point I clicked. Next step in the mask dropdown is to set it to none, so that we can see the text again. And then expand the text options, expand path options, and set path to mask one. Ta-da! So now we can reverse path, which puts the text on the outside of the circle, and we can set it so it's... How would you describe this? All vertical? Useless, maybe? Let me know in the comments if you have an idea how to use this. Force alignment spreads the text evenly around the circle, and this works with first and last margins to set the text where you want it. First margin also works when you turn off force alignment. And that's the first tip. Done. But what if you want to rotate the text? Well, you might think you could just set the text to force alignment and the first and last margins to zero, and then go to layer, transform, center anchor point around content, which moves the layer's anchor point to the center-ish of the circle. But if I hit R to view the rotation property and set a couple of quick keyframes, it's not exactly in the center of the circle. That's because the text isn't all the same character and it's the text AE is basing the anchor on not the mask, although the center anchor trick works great for solids and masks. So instead, rather than draw the circle on the text, I'm going to make sure no layer is selected and draw an ellipse which creates a shape layer. But I get some bonuses doing this, it's all numbers based. So I can set my circle radius in pixels, and then expand the shapes transform properties, zero out the anchor and position, and then right click on ellipse path 1, and choose Convert to Bezier Path. When you expand this path now, the size and position are gone, and instead there's a path value. Select that and hold Ctrl and Tab C to copy it. Switch to your text layer, and using the mask tool, draw a mask, any shape you like. Expand this mask, and select the Mask Path property. Hold Ctrl and Tab V to paste in your copied, perfectly centered mask. Now you can use the text path settings as before, and it will be perfectly centered on the circle. Every time. And that's two down, which means time for me to ask for a like. I think that counts as asking, doesn't it? Next tip is really simple, and that's text on any path. You don't have to have it be on a circle. Just use the pen tool and draw any path you want. And did you notice before that the first and last margins both can be keyframed? Which means you can create cute scrolling text. Last one for this video, text in a sphere. This trick also works with cylinders because, well, because After Effects comes with CC Sphere and CC Cylinder. You can apply CC Sphere to the text directly, but it stretches it to fit in the whole comp. And you can set it to outside only, which means you don't see the back of the sphere as you rotate it. A much better option is to pre-comp your text layer. Use whatever resolution you want, but try to have the width be twice the height. That will wrap the text without stretching. So after pre-composing your text, just go to Composition, Composition Settings, uncheck the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox, and then set your pre-comp so it's something like 2000 by 1000, and the Aspect Ratio suggests it's 2 by 1. Back in your main comp, go to Effect, Perspective, CC Sphere. And there you go. Being in a pre-comp means you can add a background too and any other effects you want. To get the text to move across the sphere, you can either expand CC Sphere's rotation controls and animate it there, or if you go into the text pre-comp and then go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then go to effect, distort, offset, you can now create movement in the pre-comp which means you can do cute stuff like adding the pre-comb a second time, scaling it to match the sphere, 
so you can quickly create Times Square like displays. And that's it for this video, but check out the Solvent playlist for more quick tips and tricks. And if you see somebody asking about this on the After Effects forum, be sure to send them a link to here. You'll be a nice helpful person and I will get to irritate someone else with this annoying cartoon.